Hi there, you found us here. It's story time with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever feel you need to be braver than you are? Sometimes? Well, if Rainbow Fish is going to help his sick friend, he has to swim through the dangerous sea monster's cave. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and swim with Rainbow Fish to see if he will be brave enough or not. Rainbow Fish and the Sea Monster's Cave by Marcus Pfister. Help! Come quick! The little blue fish was alarmed. His friends were there in a minute. What is it? What's wrong? Look at the bumpy-backed fish. He must be sick. He isn't moving and he doesn't answer me. He just groans. Let me through, said the swordfish. She went up to the bumpy-backed fish. Can you tell me what's wrong? The bumpy-backed fish moaned. My stomach aches. I feel terrible. You need red algae, said the swordfish. But the only place where red algae grows is on the other side of the sea monster's cave, said the little blue fish. I'll go, declared Rainbow Fish. Are you out of your mind, cried the others is the most dangerous place in the entire ocean. That's where the rock monsters live. And a creature with a thousand arms to catch you. And the five-eyed globe fish. Rainbow fish trembled. He almost changed his mind. But then he looked at the poor bumpy-backed fish lying in the sand. Bravely, he said, I'll go anyway. I'll come with you, cried the little blue fish. That made Rainbow Fish feel better. Quickly, they swam off before they lost their nerve. The sea monster's cave was dark and frightening. The rock walls were steep and jagged. Swim lower! whispered Rainbow Fish. That rock monster has his mouth open to eat us. The cave grew even darker. Suddenly, the little blue fish cried out, Help! The thousand-armed creature has caught me. Rainbow Fish tugged and pulled until his friend slipped out of the monster's slimy arms. That was a close call. Now he was really scared. Rainbow Fish looked down. The five-eyed globefish is watching us, he whispered. The little blue fish shivered. Quick, let's get out of here, he said. And they swam as fast as they could until they finally emerged on the other side of the sea monster's cave. There they saw a big clump of red algae. The two friends picked as much as they could carry and then they turned to go. The little blue fish hesitated. I can't go back through the cave. I'm too scared. Rainbow Fish was scared too, but he said, at least now we know what's in there. They looked at each other, gathered their courage and swam off. Soon they saw the five-eyed globefish. There's something funny about those eyes, said Rainbow Fish, and he swam a little closer. Then Rainbow Fish laughed. That isn't a five-eyed globefish, he said. It's just the lanterns from five little lantern fish. Why, they aren't scary at all, said the little blue fish, giggling with relief. 
When they reached the creature with a thousand arms, they looked more closely. Seaweed, they said together and laughed. The rock monsters turned out to be just ordinary rocks. Unafraid, the two fish swam right by them and out of the cave to find their friends. You made it, the other fish cried. Did you see the rock monsters? Did anything try to eat you? We'll tell you everything later, answered Rainbow Fish. But first we have to give this red algae to the bumpy backed fish. The bumpy backed fish nibbled at the algae and soon he felt better. I don't know how I can thank you. It must have been dreadful to go through the cave. We were terribly afraid, Rainbow Fish admitted. But when we looked more closely, the monsters disappeared, interrupted the little blue fish happily. And then the two of them told the story of their journey and all the terrifying monsters that weren't really monsters at all. Bear's wondering, if you had a sick friend, would you try to be as brave as you could to help them? Many yeses, Bear. Bear's saying maybe Rainbow Fish and the little blue fish helped each other be braver. So what do you think? Is it good for us to face whatever we're afraid of and try to help all we can? Hmm. Well, Bear hopes you come back soon for more adventures in being brave. Bye for now. Please subscribe.